Hello everyone, welcome back. We are shooting uh, 300 yards right now with this Halson 503G, and I have it. Um, I have a uh, Halson 3X a magnifier. Okay, so that's the HM 3X. Uh, I'm gonna dim down the reticle just a little bit because I just want to get it to the point where I can just barely see it. So we're gonna be shooting at that target on the left. All right, um, I just want to get my bearings here. So we're going to shoot this 300 yards first and, and see where we are. We're shooting the PMC X-Tax 55 grain. Actually, let me, uh, I'm going to you know, lengthen this stock just a little bit because of the uh, camera adapter. It comes out a little bit more. So the wind's about three to five miles uh, left to right. So I'm going to favor a little bit left on the target. Uh, by the way, the, the gun that we're using is Radical Firearms, 16-inch barrel. This is the one I did, I did a video on this. This has that 15-inch uh, rail. So I don't have, I basically the, the gun's on a bipod, no bag in the back. I just have my, uh, my hand holding the stock in my chest. So at, two, at 300 yards, the impact should be, because this has a 100 yard zero at the tip. The inside of the arrow is 200 yards. The legs are 300 yards. Then the first dot is 400, then 500, and then 600 on that last dot. So I'm holding the uh, just the, the the tip of the arrow to the top of the of the paper over there. I forgot to check the bubble level on that one. So I don't know if the gun the gun was canted perfectly right. All right, let's go check that. Yeah, I forgot to check the bubble level on some of those shots and. I mean, the, the recoil just, throw, you know, I mean, it doesn't throw you a lot, but, it, well, here's the thing. It's more with the talking that sometimes my cant will slip a little bit. And having the gun canted just a little bit this way or a little bit that way, that can throw your, it, you know, at this distance, it could easily push you two, you know, two inches left, two inches right, just by your cant being off. And as you can see, the gun, the, the, the ground out there is slanted. So if you're trying to level off to the ground, you're like this, right? Because that seems straight to you. But now, you know, because the ground is so uh, slanted, you have to level off to gravity. So you got to have a bubble level. I have it at the front of the, on the front, at the Picatinny rail, because the magnifier doesn't allow space in the back, and I wouldn't get the proper eye relief if I pushed it up some more. So let's go look at that target. All right, we're coming up on target. All right, I can see the holes, five holes on target. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so obviously, when I when I shoot with a uh, with a higher magnification, I get much tighter groups. Um, you know, I'll get like, you know, I get like like six inch groups and, and even smaller. So with this, we only got three X, and plus I wasn't bagging it; uh, I was holding it, the stock in my chest with my with my hand. So that opened up the group. So my wind hole was right because I favored, I put the, the leg to the edge of the paper here and that kind of centered this. I'm gonna mark these, hold on, mark it so you can see them better. Here you go, I marked the holes, put circles around them um, so that we can see them better. Actually, I got a tape measure. So basically we're shooting a red dot at 300 yards. This ACSS, see the whole group is 14 inches. Okay, with a red dot. Now, usually what I do is I look at the best four out of five because sometimes, you know, you can throw off one of the shots or the, the um, you know, one of the bolts might be off because this is, this is target ammo, right? It's PMC x -Tax. So let's discount that fifth one there. And the best four are at uh, about 12 and a half inches. So that's not far off from the total group, which was at four inches. So uh, pretty consistent anyway, you'll look at it. So... I mean, why would you want to use a red dot with a magnifier versus uh, uh, an LPVO? Well, um, hey, let's start walking back. I've covered this before. Um, 
I mean, for one thing, the uh, the, uh, with, with, the with, with this setup, you can easily remove the magnifier and now you've got a much lighter gun, okay? You can take it off at night. Now also you can look at stuff at this, you, like I can remove the magnifier, like if I wanted to look out there at distance without pointing the gun, right? So I can turn it into a monocular and look at things without pointing the gun in an unsafe direction, right? So that's the benefit of being able to quickly and easily take the magnifier off the gun, right? You can use it independent of the gun. Um, and also for the holds, it's a lot easier because um, on, on, on uh, LPVOs, I like complex reticles with mill grids that allow me to do a lot of advanced work, okay, and, and really get out to some distance, 600 and 700 yards with like 77 grain bullets. Uh, now, the benefit of this reticle is that you got the bullet drop, but it's also faster with a lot less fuss. Okay. Now, normally, I, I like at this distance, I like using a 6x magnifier, which I have. Uh, the 6x magnifier, which I tried, does not work well with the camera adapter. So that's the reason why we're using the 3x. Uh, it's really for your benefit, so you can see what I'm doing here today. But otherwise, I'd be using the 6x magnifier. Uh, I mean, the 3x does have its benefits, a wider field of view, you know, uh, lighter. So it's not a bad thing to have either. Now, we just shot the PMC x tax 55 grains, but just for shits and giggles, I'm going to shoot the Tula at 300 yards. I've never shot it at 300 yards before, and I want to see how it does. And, that, you know, one of the things I like about Radical Firearms is that these guns work really good with steel case ammo, which for an SHTF type of situation is critical because, I mean, that's what most people stockpile, like, you know, in the thousands. Uh, and, uh, you know, your guns got to be able to work with everything that's out there. All right, so we're shooting 300 yards with Tula, and I want to see how, how we do with this. So, mind you, uh, when I shot this earlier, I was not careful with that bubble level, so that might have threw off my shots a little bit. So, we have a, a, like a 3 to 5 mile per hour wing left to right, so I'm going to favor left on the target. Okay, so that's Tula, 223. Now, the last time I shot this with a 5 to 25, I could see like a white flash, and I wasn't sure if that was the smoke or the back of the bullet, like momentarily. It seemed to be like really consistent, because smoke, I think, is a little bit less consistent. So that's why I, th I think the last time I was shooting this, I don't know, but it's, I think I was seeing the uh, like the, the back of the bullet as it was rising up into the line of sight. I mean, I can't tell when I'm, when I'm shooting this. Like, I don't see anything. Um... But we'll see in the, in the camera what, what it shows us. Okay, so, all right, so that's radical firearms with the Tula at 300 yards. Let's get out there and take a look. All right, coming up on target. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I can see the whole. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. The ones with no circles. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. Uh, uh, oh, actually, let me back up the camera because I. Okay, so five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, three hundred yards. Tula steel case. Don't let anybody tell you that that stuff's shit, man. I mean, yeah, brass is a little bit better because I find that in it feeds better under like some like weird situations, like if you're shooting very unconventional. But other than that, I mean, I have shot like probably probably fifty thousand, probably a hundred thousand rounds of two two three over the last fifteen years of, of Tula in different ARs. So the Tula hold on, at at three hundred yards, the total group uh, 
looks like it's about 13, maybe 13 and a half inches. So we actually did better with the Tula. Now, I don't think that's the ammunition. That's my hold, okay? That, I, I mean, I don't doubt for a second because I know PMC shoots better. So I just I just shot this better, okay? Um, and it looks like it's, like, even if I try to look at four out of five, uh, 12 inches. So anyway, anyway I, I if I try to discount one as a flyer, Maybe I get down to 12 inches at 300 yards. So both of these groups are really good. Uh, the Tula, I mean, again, this is me. Uh, I personally sh today shot better with the Tula at 300 yards. Um, now, uh, I mean, realistically, like, this is damn good stuff for shit, 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 uh, shit hit the fan, okay? Um, most people don't are going to be doing, like, are going to be inside of 200 yards, in a, that type of situation, most people probably don't practice often enough at distance to really be able to really take advantage of better ammunition. Okay, so that's why I tell everybody: yeah, stock by on Tula. That's going to serve like eighty percent of, of your needs for SHTF. And what you could do is like, um, like I'll, I have like clear thirty round lancers and twenty round lancers. So the goods, the brass. I'll put in the 20 rounders, right? And I know that's my like distance shooting ammunition. And then all the steel case I put in the 30 rounders, right? And I know that's like for like, you know, rapid fire type of shooting. Okay, so so I would keep the gun loaded obviously with, with 30 rounds. And if I know I'm gonna be shooting at distance, then I would swap in the 20 round magazine. So Tula, Tula did pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm actually not surprised. <laughs>